electronic music, whether it's in the studio or on stage, is at its best in performance mode. And it should be playful, it should be fun, and it should enable you to kind of capture yourself and bring you a little bit more into the computer system. Hi, I'm Richie Houghton, and today we're going to cover a new script I've developed for the Launchpad Pro and Bitwig. This script gives me new possibilities that weren't available on some other devices. As you know, my style of DJing is quite spontaneous and a little bit in between DJing and production. I would also say that in the past, the studio and the performance and stage sometimes needed different software. But one of the things that drew me to Bitwig was that I really wanted to unite stage and studio. When I'm playing, I really like to play with loop length so that I can give some kind of counter rhythms to the records I'm playing. And I like to have direct access in the creative moment to come up with new and fresh ideas and to be able to play with rhythms in a unique and interesting way. What I knew I needed to interface with Bitwig better in the studio and on stage was some scripts that were really specifically made for me. I have a very specific setup up here for my DJ shows, allowing me to combine pre-recorded tracks in Native Instruments Tractor and having effects and drums in Bitwig. So on the first four channels of the Model 1 mixer, I have my tracks. And you can see that I control those from my K2s here, start and stop. I can add small delays and effects very quickly. And I can also navigate through the tracks of what I want to play. Using the Model 1, I also have access to two effect sends, and those are getting routed straight up into Bitwig. So I have a reverb and a delay, all being controlled from the K2s. As a third effect send, we use QB headphones to be able to send back up to Bitwig for a flange-like effect. All the effects in Bitwig get routed back to the Model 1. Reverb on return one, flange on return two, and on the first channel, we have the delay. The delay is on the first channel because then we can actually have sends again so that we can do small feedback loops. The second channel on the Model 1 is the important drum channel. And here we have the down mix of all the drums that I'm programming on the Launchpad Pro with this new script. Although all the drums are down mixed onto channel two, I use the K2 for specific volumes for each of those sounds. So here I can also control pitch and add some other simple delays and reverbs. Of course, all performances need some preparation, but I try to leave it as little as possible so that I can really live in the moment. But what I have set up in Bitwig at the beginning of each show are the samples that I'm gonna use, the drum sounds, and which parameters I can control from all these devices. Because it's very important for me to have a muscle memory so that I know when I want to change a tuning or add an effect or do a drum fill, it's gonna do the same thing every time. Let's dive in and see what makes this script really special and exactly how I use it. One of the things I love to do when playing is to change the loop length. This is really the heart of this script because it allows me to do strange rhythms, polyrhythms and keep things rotating over the records I'm playing to bring that kind of hypnotic state. So quickly with one touch, we can go and start changing the loop length. Of course, when you start to play with different loop lengths, it's very easy to get lost. So you need a quick way to jump back to where you were. So we have one button back to one bar. The script also gives quick ways to jump back to different loop lengths and to re-trigger your loop length so you come back on the beginning of each bar. 
if you know these type of scripts, looking at this quadrant here, it may look a little bit different because we have eight buttons here, which are specifically for jumping into loop lengths really while you're in the moment. So straight to one, to two, three, four, five, and eight. And then again, back to one bar. So all of this can happen really without even thinking about it. What's important when developing a script like this is to give quick access to the features without overcomplicating things. That's the idea with this next feature. The probability function is something really cool within Bitwig. And on this device, we only have three parameters, 25, 50, and 75%, allowing you to quickly give each note from each drum sound its own probability to allow it to have a more organic and hypnotic feel. Let's listen to a simple drum loop and add some probability and see how it comes alive. What's happening here is our script has direct access to the Bitwig operators. What's different about this script is that we're actually accessing different clips. So right here, you can see I have four clips playing. This is not one bar and different sections, but specific individual clips. And that allows us some really great features. What we can do is select a clip that's not playing and program it in the background and then bring it in when it's ready. Let's see how it works. By pressing shift, you can navigate to any of the clips without actually having it start to play. And then once you're done, then actually fire it and move over to that pattern. What's also interesting about using individual clips is that we can quickly jump between different loop lengths per clip. remembering that you always have one button to bring you back to a normal size loop. Once you find a groove that you like, it's very easy to copy and paste that to a new clip. In addition, you can also copy patterns between different instruments. Of course, this script has all the normal features you would expect. Mute for each sound. Solo, velocity, which you can use for each step for each instrument, and note repeat. I'm sure people will use these scripts to do exactly what I do, copy how I play, or but I think we all start out by being inspired by other artists and watching how people do things. And I always hope that you start there and then you follow and develop and find your own unique way of using. You know, to me, the I love the note repeat. I love the probability, but perhaps other people on the Launchpad Pro will like the, the copy and paste or, you know, the, the, the length. And, you know, there's so many different ways to jam. So, and I can't use them all. So let's put it out and see what happens and actually listen to what or how other people are using it and maybe redevelop it.